picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 15 team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Vols will kick it away to start us off. That is not the way you want to start with the kickoff going out of bounds. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Let's go. Here comes the offense on first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. And a great job by the offensive line. You're going to run the ball right up the middle. You've got to control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackle doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. Slipping, sliding, dancing his way down to the 32. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Using his legs, it's Hayden. Tackle is made after the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Now, that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains, to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. The Buffaloes want to crank their tempo. They'll give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Caught near the sideline, it's Hart. Now the eighth play of the opening drive, but this time facing third and long. They'll run it from the gun. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. This offense has moved into plus territory, and they want to keep the heat on. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. Coaches talk about it all the time. We're going to be aggressive. Well, they were aggressive on that first drive. They go for it on fourth down. No dice. Now you put your defense on the field. I like the aggressiveness. But now you got to deal with some of the consequences. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Wants to throw. It's Iamaleava. Makes the grab down the middle. Getting behind those pads and behind the stiff arm to get it out to the 27. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. They've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. And they fail to hook up on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. So the last thing you want to do is start the game, first drive, go three and out. They won't do that here. They might go four and out, but they'll try to convert here. 
on fourth down, trying to find his man. And they can't connect, and the gamble does not work out. It's really early in the game right now, and if it's fourth and short, fourth and medium, maybe I see going for it, certainly. But fourth and long, that's a situation I think you got to punt and just let the game play out. Trust your defense a little bit more. And a good pick up there. They'll move the sticks for a first down. Let's see if they try to get another snap before the quarter expires. They love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Corners right up on that line of scrimmage. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. The big fellas coming out the goal line defense. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Reels it in the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gives it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score. They're in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it out. It's Selvin. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating because you, you think you might get points and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. They got to turn the page and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. On second down, he'll let it fly. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. You make up the game plan, and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find the rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And the Volunteers are moving quickly down the field. Back to the air one more time. Got him downfield. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown ball. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man. And we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half. Stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll return it. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. It's so runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Their pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. On the move, it's White. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. To the air, it's Iamaleava. This one's complete. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. At the 35, he's open. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the balls come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wide out. Working the middle. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Volunteer! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And he tacked on the extra point. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Trying play action. Going for the big play. Fires and picked off. He'll try to take it back. He goes out of bounds. 